Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. Great article here from Mike over at Light Reading. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys can check it out. So the plummeting value of 5G millimeter wave spectrum. So this is an interesting one. And we'll, we'll tie this video to, to Verizon. Verizon today is the uh, carrier that deploys millimeter wave the biggest. It's not just something that they just randomly throw in. Like this is li literally a part of their planning for a five-year network plan. They have millimeter wave included in all of their strategic planning. It's not just something that they say, okay, we're going to deploy a little here. We're going to deploy a little there. No, they're going to, they're going to add this for the rest of this decade. And then into 6G millimeter wave will be a part of Verizon's network. Now, everyone else, Verizon, T-Mobile, AT&T, and others spent billions of dollars in the early days of 5G or millimeter wave spectrum licenses, but the value of those licenses appear to be rapidly declining. So is the same happening for, for Verizon? Well, it depends on the value you yourself put on that spectrum. I mean, everyone else can say the, the value is declining, but it might be, no, it, it is valuable to Verizon because they're actually deploying it. So when T-Mobile made the statement, we will deploy it where it makes sense, right? Stadiums, arenas, concerts, busy venues. They never actually stuck to that statement. Yes, they deployed it on in some of those uh, places, but they, they didn't go all out. Verizon, they stuck to it. They deployed it at all NFL stadiums. They're deploying it in all busy downtown areas. They de they're deploying it in all arenas they're making this a part of their network it's not like i said it's not just something oh we're gonna put it here because there's a super bowl or oh, we're gonna put it there because there's the nba finals no verizon is going to deploy this wherever it makes sense to them and they're actually doing it so verizon is putting their own value on the millimeter wave spectrum no matter what what anyone else thinks the only problem is from a from a bigger perspective if no one other than Verizon is really in tune with millimeter wave deploying it as, you know, in, in such a way as Verizon, T-Mobile, at and it could, it could limit, uh, how, how can I say, it could limit innovation around millimeter wave. It, it really could. So that's the only bad part for Verizon, right? If you, if you look at it globally, Nobody really uh, deploys it much. Verizon's really the only one actively deploying this um, in a bigger way. Um, so indeed, roughly seven years ago, Verizon and AT&T engaged in a bidding war with millimeter wave spectrum hold, hold a straight path. Verizon event, eventually walked away with the company spectrum licenses thanks to a $3.1 billion bid. Um, so again... Many companies have been going to uh, over bidding wars. T-Mobile spent big. They have more than AT&T, but then they let go of those licenses. So it's interesting. It's it's very interesting. But as long as for a perfect example, I would throw this in to close out the video. The Formula One race taking place in Vegas. It doesn't matter what T-Mobile has deployed on N41. I don't care what kind of 5G advanced tech, what kind of slicing they add in, what kind of backhaul they have deployed. As long as Verizon has millimeter wave to match T-Mobile's N41 in all of those areas of the, of the, or the busier areas of the race, T-Mobile will not win. It's just not possible. We're talking 800 megahertz versus 120. Not going to work. I don't care if T-Mobile has AWS, PCS added to it. It's just not going to beat millimeter wave. And now uh, Verizon is doing uh, NRSADC. So they're they're adding millimeter wave and C-band, uh, aggregating it. That's now an additional 100 megahertz channel from the C-band. So that's 900 megahertz of spectrum with dark fiber 10 gig circuit. So you're seeing 5 gigs on the speed and like, 500 600 megabits on the uplink if they have it deployed adequately which they do on the strip t-mobile is not going to beat that performance i don't care what type of stretching what type of flipping they do they're not going to beat it and that and that's the case for anything any arena any stadium 
If it's N41 versus millimeter wave, Verizon will win every single time. I don't care what type of statistics T-Mobile puts out, what type of analysis, what type of firm, testing firm, they will not win because millimeter wave is just, it's, it's, it just has too much bandwidth. And we'll see that this weekend. We have uh, Carlos S. Tech testing. Uh, media is, has very limited access, so he's going to be the only one that we have to rely on to really show us the testing. And so far, wherever he's tested at any even at the t-mobile uh, spear um verizon has millimeter wave they win it, it's it's really that simple even at&t outperforms where they have the millimeter wave deployed so millimeter wave for those events is a must if t-mobile wants to compete from a performance perspective n41 will very likely still do fine it will still handle the point of sales it will still run the apps but other than that they're not gonna they're not gonna win any awards for the fastest speeds so let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. Follow my social media. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. See y'all in the next one. Peace.